What is it about your hobby that keeps you coming all the way out here? Is it the freedom wandering in search of that perfect spot? You've made your own path through these hills. Welcome to my house. I am Frumpy Buckle, and you're fishing with Uncle Buck. In this video, we're going to go back to Sophie's Tackle Shop. I did do a first one on the tackle shop and how everything works there. However, I've had a whole week to fish in this game. And we need to talk about Taylor's tackle shop. They have some issues in the back as far as shipping goes. Um, what you order online and what you order at the counter isn't what you get delivered. That kind of nature. So I'm going to take a quick video here. We're going to talk about balance setups. Are there any balance setups in this game? I found three. That's it out of all the gear that they give you, which isn't a lot, I was ma I managed to create three actually balanced setups, so we'll go over that. Um, other than that, they, they're not ready yet, because they've got poles that they don't have reels to match them, and that nature, and if you're buying some of these poles, you're, you're just spending your money, <laughs> because you're not getting any value out of them. So that being said, guys, um, Let's jump over there. We'll, 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 we'll hit Sophie up and I'll show you what I consider as to being the best rigs in the game. And I'll also show you which ones to stay away from right now until we get a couple of updates here because the back end office at Taylor's Tackle needs some, they need some fixing up. Anyway, let's get over there and uh, we'll see you there. All right. Let's walk down and see so. I'm sure she'll have something smart to say, like buy something. Hey, it's me, the shopkeeper with the great deal. <laughs> okay, so, all right, here we go, guys. Let's take a look first at what Sophie has in the shop. Take a look at these. Buy equipment, and let's take a look at the rods here now. Now. If you look at these rods, out of all the all of your all of your rods, you've got your greenhorn right there. Now you can balance, you can get that with a fairly balanced rod uh, and reel. All right, so you can put the prologue reel on there, and basically what you have then is you've got a 220 by 441 on the on the rod with a reel that's a 220 by 220. And I'm talking about 220 being your line strength versus the strength of the pole. And if you go to the reels and you look, then you got 220 versus the 220. Now here you could actually put, you can't see, you can't, this is the only reel that will go on that rock. Anything else, it's, it's too big. The, the line strength itself, now you could put this, you could put this rod on there and put smaller line on put one pound test on two pound test i mean you could do that but you're wasting your money why do that you're not getting any benefit out of this reel by doing that you've got a better setup here with this setup all right so let's go back now so the green horn that's the one you want to put on there is the prologue now if you jump up to the next one here and you buy the maiden now the maiden's a 44 441 by 1323 so you've got three options there on your reel you can either go uh, your reels you can go with the Tyro, the, the Belta, but I would say throw the scope on this one. Now the scope is a is a 551 to 882. Now this is a 441 to 551. This is a 441 to 441. But if you look at the rod itself, it's a 441, but it's strength is a 13 pound. This is an ultra light, but it'll handle up to 13 pounds. So what you can do is you can throw, you want to get as much poundage as you can. So its maximum line strength is a 441, but it'll handle 1323. So if you look at the reels, and you look at here, there's there's your 441, there's your 441, it'll handle 55. Here's your 551, it'll handle 61. Now the scope. Scope there we go. Scope. That's a 551, but you get maximum drag 882 out of it, and you can put the smaller line 
on it, and you're still going to get a better deal with that scope. That's why I say you'll, it's not a balanced setup, but it's a better setup. All right, now what's the next one in there? Is the Romulus. Hey. Now the Romulus is an 882 that gives you 1764 strength. Now I would say just on this one that you do the, the now this will only handle 882 pound line. However, we're gonna go over here on the reels and we're gonna put the tops on there. Where's the tops? There it is. Now that's a 992. It's stronger than that rod can handle. It's an 882, but you can still put that 992 on there. It gives you a 1764 max drag. So it's balanced with that rod. 1764, 1764 is its strength. This reel will handle up to, yeah, there he is, up to a 1764. However, you can put 992 pound test on it, but you don't have to. You can put 882 on this reel. So you'll get the benefit of the strength of the reel, um, and, but then it's all at the base of the, 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 the rod and the line in an 882. So that's a fairly decent setup, even though it's a little bit larger. All right, so then let's go back and let's talk about the Brass Monkey. Now the Brass Monkey, he's an 882 by 2205. Now, the reels, the best reel that they've got, it, it matches on the max drag, so you've got a match there on what the pole can handle and what the reel can handle. However, it's an 1102. That, that's it. That's the heaviest. That's the heaviest line you can get. So, on this setup, you have to use the 882 line. That's 1102, and this rod, the brass monkey, the maximum line strength is 882. But it's still the better rod. Now, from the brass monkey on, it doesn't matter what reels you have, what rod you have, you're not getting any benefit out of it because you're stuck with the best spinning reel. You're stuck, whoops, you're stuck with this reel. That's it. So you got 1102. That's the, that's the strongest test line that you can put on this, on this reel. So if you go back to these rods, there you start, there's 13 pound, okay, 1323, 1543, you keep, yes, you know, they're higher and higher strength, but you ain't got a reel that can keep up with them. So what's what's the sense in it? I made a mistake, and now I have two of these because I bought a spin, a bait capture, and they sent me one more of these. I'm still having issues with that. But this one here is the 20, now you can, you can get 2205. It, this this advocate here will handle 2205, but you, there, there's no reel, no no reel that will handle 2205. Not a spinning reel, like I said. So it, it's senseless to have anything above the brass monkey. To be honest with you, because that's the 882 2205, and then you go up into 13. You have nothing nothing that's 1102 here, and that's the now you can put 1102 grind on any of these rods, and you can put that reel, that the reel on there. And you, but you're running these big rods with 11 pound test on. That's basically what you're doing. So they don't have anything above the brass monkey. Now when you get into your bait casting, now your bait casting, and here you're you're the same way. Now bait casting is one place where they offer you a perfect setup. Now that would be the Wookie ticket right here. Oh, Sophia, you've got to stop talking. Now, the wiki ticket is a 2205 by 4409. All right now, if you go to your reels and your spinning reels, and you look at the, the wiki, you look at mediator, which is right here, it's a 2205 by 4409. Exact balance setup. So, there, there's your deal there on that one and that's right now that's the biggest and the only because that's the biggest reel that they have so if you go back to the rods it's right here oh um, no nope, bait caster and it's right here that's it you can go up higher you're looking at a high rod but the 2866 you can't put nothing on it i have this one at 3307 which i don't know why i bought it was dumb because then i went and bought a reel but, but, but there's no reel it I'm still waiting. Now, 
<laughs> do not want to buy the virtuous. This is the guy that's been giving me problems. I tried to buy this the first time I got the two, the, the two um, buckwheats, and they don't even sell that rod. It's not available in the game, so it must have been a prototype rod, and somehow it's still in the in the system because I clicked on this and got two of those rods. So then I waited two days, I figured, okay, I'll try it again, maybe I did something wrong. I clicked on it again and I got another spinner, spinner advocate, hence I have two of them. I bought one, but I didn't buy the other one. So I'm done, I'm done buying rods at this point. But like I said, um, once you get to here, you're done because... <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I need some coffee here. You don't have any match set up after, after this. After the wiki ticket, you don't have a match set up anymore. They don't have a reel to match any of these other rods. Now the Nexus. Now there you can get another another match set up. If, if you click, if you take the matchmaker. Now the matchmaker is an 1102 by 2205. All right, and you team him up with this guy here, 1102 by 2205. Perfect setup. So now that's a match rod, of course, but that's a big match rod, and that's. It, that's a 22 pounder now i opted for this guy here i went to 1764 with the 33 pounder is what i run and then actually where did i put it on him that's the nexus i'm running the champion with him the champion reel so i run this champion right here 1102 with the 1980 only because it's max drag 1984 and the rod um, Nexus, this guy here, 1964 on max line strength. So I'm pretty close there. That's a, that's a ma fairly close to that. And I'm getting the extra, the workhorseness out of the 3307. So that's kind of it, fellas, for as far as you, like I said, there, there aren't very many. You got one, you got three setups that, you, that I would consider a balanced setup. And that would be your, your greenhorn with your prologue on it. And then your next setup would be your bass setup, which would be the wiki ticket with the mediator rod on that. And then for match rods, it would be the matchmaker and the roof flute. And that's it. Other than that, you can play around, you can buy these bigger rods if you want to, but they're not, you're not, you're wasting your money, save your money for buying fancy clothes. And for now, that's our story. That's what we got. Those are the best picks in the game. I went through every one of them. Tried. To, I, I've got a couple of these rods. I fished and mixed and matched some of the rods together and did some fishing. It didn't seem to make a whole lot of difference. So I just went with basically the numbers. Um, they give us. They have so much line in, in the mono and floral world, and then they have even extra lines in the braid. I can only assume since we have so many line. And we have so many rods that the reels are on their way. Um, so, with that being said, buying them maybe not be a mistake at this point. If you can afford it, pick up on the rods because down the road, yeah, I'm sure they're introducing some new equipment. They're going to have to if they want to. They want to get some match setups. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped out a little bit. I won't be so rough on Sophie the next time. Hey, thanks for watching. And remember, never give up the fight. We'll see you later.